Welcome back, and this time we're gonna show you um, um, two of the special um, um, events inside the um, um, lifecycle of the activity, which is to restore instant state and to um, save instant state. What is instant state? They are um, 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 instance data of the activity. What that means here is they are not persistent data. What that means here, let's say, if you have a form here for your activity, and let's say you are prompting, um, prompting user to type a name then you're going to have a yup that one is ugly one let me just use this one okay uh, to type in a name then let's say you have a button to um, click on and to save okay this button is to save let's just use this one a button to save okay um, so when user type in a tick let's say uh, meter a okay meter a and you haven't been able to click on save so it's not persistent data yet right now it's instance data of the um, um, form or it's called dynamic data then somehow user switch the orientation okay switch the orientation of this one into um, um, landscape okay somehow use a switch orientation then if use a switch orientation you, you you observe from previous one the activity is going to get cure okay and it's going to be recreated Okay, it's going to be recreated in this form of orientation. And uh, this name thing and the text box now is going to be recreated. Okay, and you may lose your data because this one is only instance data. You may lose your data because this one is only instance data. Okay, then it switches to the orientation place. It's create new. Okay, it's destroyed the old one. And because it destroyed the old one, you lose your data of the instance or of the um, previous object. It's create new object here. Okay, and what do I mean about you may lose your data because by default, okay, uh, uh, your data is retained, your data is auto automatically saved. Okay, but when is it not safe? Okay, I'm going to disable the ability of saving and I'm going to show, show you these two events. Okay, I'm going to show you two events. And this um, handling restoring some state and um, saving some state, uh, saving some state is um, available in API 21. So I'm going to create a new application. Okay, and this one is um, instant states demo okay, instant state demo. And this one is a package and this one is instant state demo uh, named application this way okay but the project is this way next and right now it's available for 21 so we're gonna choose the minimum minimum is 21 as well next uh, blank activity next uh, main activity is the default one finish okay it's creating our application okay. Then we have the application built right now, and by default, let's say we have the designer collapse this one, collapse this one, collapse this one. So I have the click on this one, so I have wider space. Okay, I have wider space here. Now click on it. Okay, I have wider space here. Then by default, it has a hello world here. I'm gonna run using Nexus 5 for anyone can code. Uh, I'm going to delete this one. Okay, I'm going to delete this one. Then from the palette, we're going to drag and drop in a text sphere. Okay, because text sphere is, is, is you're going to be able to input some um, text that we are not uh, saved yet. Okay, so this one is the user text. Okay, it is the user text. So yeah, you have a text box over here now. Okay, let's just run this application. Simply run this application. Okay. Let's, let's just run the application. Choose the emulator, okay, or start the em emulator if you haven't started. I started it already, so it is now here. If you put let's say meter A, okay, and you press Control F12, okay, Control press F12 to in order to switch the orientation. So I do Control F12 switch the orientation, and if you, you already learned from previous one, it won't kill this activity and restart activity, but still keep our instance data by default okay it still keep our instance data by default that's good okay but then i want to demo the situation the situation for our activity is we're going to handle the on restore instance state and on save instance state manually okay so we can disable the auto save this way we'll get down right this one down get to the text and from the code we do androids okay Save enables equal to false. It doesn't enable to save. 
So we're going to handle it manually. So if you run this application right now, if you run the application right now, choose this one. Okay. Okay. It is here. Okay. Instant state demo. And if you type meter A and press Ctrl F12 to switch the orientation, you see it creates a new object, you see, and it doesn't handle the safe instance anymore. Okay. It doesn't handle the safe instance anymore. So then, and this one, um, you have ability to handle that one all by yourself. Okay, so click on the main activity. You're going to um, 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 click on um, um, save instant state. Okay, you're going to look, look that I, you're going to look that save uh, uh, um, instance, instance state. Okay, then you're going to uh, show up here on save instant state, copy, paste. Okay. Similarly, you're going to override on restore instant states. Okay, then you're gonna copy this line, copy, paste it here, copy this one, paste it here. Okay, then we're going to run this application. Okay, well, we'll run this application. Click on OK, and we're gonna look at look at because too many um, things inside the local. So I'm going to click on device and I'm going to filter, okay? Edit filter configuration. And um, we're going to filter for instant state only. Instance state, type it carefully, okay? Instant state, not, uh, not instant state change. Okay, it is instant state only. Instant states, instant states. Okay, so we gonna filter by this look tag. Okay, click on OK. So look at our look at no, uh, nothing. Okay, so if you have if you type here meter A and we do Control F12, we do Control F12. See now it's already called to our it's already called to our method on save instant state, and it's called to on restore instant state. So you can handle the events on save instant state here to get the temporary data and you can handle the event on restore instant state here to handle our data and it's gonna work okay to take the data and set it here if you want to handle it manually but in this case it's you know, if you want to okay but it's in this case otherwise you just by default delete this line of code okay it's gonna handle automatically for you but just in case you have your custom needs, your own need to handle those events, you can handle it here and here. Okay. And again, it's available for the API um, version 21. Okay. API version 21.